So if you haven't heard by now, let me just fill you in. You probably already heard. Uh, looks like it's the end of the line for Toys R Us here in the United States of America. Same same thing across uh, across the pond over there in the UK. So the hundreds and hundreds of stores that are left that are still open in the United States of America, there's a very, very, very good chance that they are all going to be shut down. Now, <clears throat> when are they going to be shut down? Not too sure, but chances are uh, it probably won't be too too much longer from now. But one thing's for sure, if you have a Toys R Us gift card or if you got some points, some rewards points stashed away from their Rewards R Us program, it really, really, really is in your best interest right now to just spend all of that. Spend all the points, use all the gift cards. Um, they say that they're going to be good for 30 days, but judging by how rapidly all this is happening and how it was only supposed to be 180 stores and then reportedly it was going to be 200 more after that. And now they're like, well, we're just going to kill the whole thing. You really never know. So don't take that 30 that 30 day um, use your gift card warning as as being set in stone. Just do it as soon as possible. So, you know, you never you never really know. Uh, I guess there could be a Hail Mary chance that perhaps the only thing that could possibly save that company from completely going under is if someone swoops in at the very last minute to buy it. But honestly, chances are it's not going to happen. So everyone is just sort of saying their goodbyes right now. I actually went into a Toys R Us uh, yesterday. It was one of the stores that was um, allegedly safe from being closed when they announced the first round of closures. And... Uh, it was a little bit more crowded in there than usual. You know, I saw people uh, like families um, with young kids, you know, um, men and women coming in with their kids and they're looking at stuff. I saw people who look like they could be adult collectors, people who remind me of me walking in there. I even saw a couple girls looks like they were probably going to film a vlog or something like right outside the Toys R Us. And it just seems like there's more people kind of coming in there now just kind of getting the last look right before everything shuts down so you know the biggest the biggest concern out of all of this besides the fact that you know for us who like to buy toys or collect toys and wanted to you know share that experience with our children going into a toys r us um of course we're going to miss that but i think the biggest thing is just with all the employees that's going to lose their jobs because of this i mean there are several several hundred stores in the united states and the amount of people that toys r us employs i mean we could be easily looking at tens of thousands of people who will no longer have uh, a job now i don't know what kind of severance package if any they're going to be getting i don't know if they're going to get 60 days of pay i think i read an article that said that they would but man you just you just don't know but that's going to be a huge hit to them and you know man so many displaced employees and i just hope that as many of them as possible can get back on their feet as soon as possible um if you're one of those employees you know if you're not already looking for another job start it right now look for another job right now um <clears throat> let's see uh what else is going on um i'm gonna go in there a few more times thankfully i work you know very close to a toys r us you know just to just to see what's going on um when the sales hit they probably won't be anything crazy but you know i'll pop in there and just see what i can get and uh also <sighs> sucks in general it really does suck um, it's going to have a big effect on the toy indus industry. I'm not so much worried about the huge guys, you know, the Mattels and even the Hasbros and the Lego. They'll be OK because they're still of they're still got their products in a bunch of different places. Targets, Walmarts, those are the most those are the biggest. Those are the most popular. So they still have that. Losing Toys R Us is a pretty big deal, but they still have plenty of other places where, you know, their product is prominently displayed. The biggest issue is going to be with the smaller toy companies that are kind of more specialized. I'm talking about the NECAs, uh, the Diamond Selects, the Jack Specifics, and all those other smaller brands that maybe didn't stay in Toys R Us for a very long time, or maybe they just sort of went in and out, but they still sold products there that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. They're going to have the hardest time being able to find some place to go and to create new deals with more retailers to get the products sold. And um, I know that NECA has got some things going into, I believe, Target. Some people are seeing 
some uh the god of war seven inch figure in target now and i think best buy is stepping up their collectible game as well so you're probably going to be going to best buy for for a few things in the future which is good for best buy because nah, you know it's not a whole lot of people that's still buying cds and you know even dvds or blu-rays so that space is going to shrink and then hopefully the collectible market can carve out a nice little spot for itself you know so maybe we can migrate over to best buy for some things um but you know, I'm just really uh, concerned about what's going to happen to those uh, to those smaller companies, because uh, I think I said it before in another video. Shelf space is very, very, very limited in big bo big box retailers and people like Diamond Select Toys with their Vinnie Mates and then with their Ghostbuster toys and the Pulp Fiction ones that they have out right now, Kingdom Hearts and all these other lines that they do. You know, it, they can't put all that stuff there, especially when you got the big boys occupying so much of the space. Um so I hope that those companies can hopefully beef up an online presence, perhaps through Amazon or with their own personal channels, their own things that they set up themselves. Um, if they don't, you know, I think that's a really bad thing, especially in this day and age, as you know, the online game being one of but not the biggest and not the main reason why Toys R Us uh, has gone under or will soon go under. But, uh, you know, I really think that they should that they should do that, you know, so that embracing the Amazon, do what you can. I mean, and if you can't, if you're like, we can't do online to that degree, then I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just not meant for the company to survive. You have to, because it's really hard to get into those retailers. But yeah, I might take my kid to Toys R Us, even though she won't remember it because she's only three months old, but maybe I'll just record something and, and just kind of keep it around so that in the future, I'll be able to show her as long as I don't lose the file or access to my Google to my Google account. Now, this is what Toys R Us was like. Can you imagine that there was a toy store that was just a toy store? Something that she will probably never, ever, ever see. So that's pretty much it. I got to get back into that building right there. And yeah, so that's it. So long, Toys R Us. Uh, we're going to miss you. And uh, for everybody who's going to lose out on employment because of this, um, try hard, keep your head up, keep on putting in those applications, and hopefully you'll be able to bounce back in no time. So that's it, guys. I'll see you later.